Hi, I'm Emma Dodd and I work on Cherry Ward at Burma Hospital. My apprenticeship is Ward Admin. Before my apprenticeship, I did work experience at the Job Centre Post in Ellesmere Port as a receptionist. It was whilst I was on this work experience that I heard about Skills for Health. The Skills for Health course took place in West Cheshire College in Ellesmere Port. I attended the college for four weeks and this included a 10 week placement with CWP Podiatry. It was during my time with Podiatry that I heard about the apprenticeship application that would be available. I applied and was invited to attend an assessment day at the Masonic Hall. I was successful there and was invited back for an interview the following week. Hi, my name is Jamie Smith. I'm based on Meadowbank Ward in Springview, Clatterbridge. My apprenticeship is clinical support worker. Previously, I was a sales account manager for a company called Arco and I was made redundant and wanted a change in career. So something that I really enjoyed. So I moved to a company called Alternative Futures who work in supported living. Um, I knew that I wanted to move into the NHS for better prospects. So I was looking to apply for bank work when I came across the apprenticeship and I thought it would be the perfect way to gain the, gain the experience that I needed. When my apprenticeship finishes in May 2016, I'm hoping to attain a permanent band three post on Meadowbank. If successful in attaining the band three post, I'll then be looking into the prospect of, of a secondment for a band five nursing post. I'm based at Readsmere on the campus of Chester Health Park and I'm a business admin level 2 apprentice. I left school in 2010 and I got accepted onto Andrew College Apprenticeship Scheme for a full time job in hairdressing. I got day release and attended college once a week and worked in the salon for the rest of the days. I left hairdressing in September 2013. I got myself a full time job at David Lloyd Fitness in Ellesmere Port to help support financially while I was looking for that perfect job. After around three months of working in David Lloyd, I heard about the Skills for Health programme. They were having an open day at West Cheshire College in Ellesmere Pool and had around 15 placements and opportunities for different roles within Cheshire and Wirral Partnership. I went along and took part in the opening day and that day changed my life. Two days after attending the open day, I got a phone call and had been shortlisted for an interview and the opportunity to work in the business administration industry. I attended the interview and was successful and started working for the effective service team. I began my journey at the Stein Centre working alongside a busy team and carrying out general admin duties. I had done previous admin work so I knew this was the job I wanted to get into and progress over the years. The placement was only for three months and was coming to an end. I got put onto the admin bank and had an extra three months within the team. This is when I moved over to Reedsmere on the Countess of Chester Health Park. Shortly after my three month extension, an apprentice position came up. I applied and I was successful. Hello, my name is Daniel Woodcock. I'm based at Cheshire Oaks Estates and I'm a work skilled apprentice. Before I got this job, I was working in Wagamama and Cheshire Oaks. I was a line chef working to earn my living when I decided what I wanted to do as a career. That's when one day I was looking on the internet on the NHS employer's website and saw the job that I am currently in. When I saw the job advertised, it advised me to attend an open day, which I did and was greeted by Gail Griggs and informed to sit a basic maths and English test and then fill in applications if necessary. After this, I had an interview with John Pike and Jim Grimes. The interview went very well and I was invited back the same day to meet senior staff. Straight away, I knew I had to go for this job opportunity as I knew that getting a qualification in this trade would help me progress my career in the future. If I am offered a full-time position at the end of my apprenticeship, that would be great because I know I would have a secure future within CWP and hopefully be able to progress my career. At the moment, I am enjoying my job and also enjoying the people I work with. Hi, my name's David Bell. I'm a Level 2 Business Admin working in Sycamore House. After I had finished school, I attended West Cheshire College studying Music Technology. When I realised this wasn't for me, I finished a year with a 90 credit diploma. I always had a backup plan if my first option wasn't to my liking, so I applied for Birkenhead Sixth Form College where I studied ICT, Business Studies and Media Studies. It was during my second year of Sixth Form when I heard about a position within CWP as a Business Admin Apprentice. 
After applying for the post, I soon discovered the stages I would need to go through to have a chance at securing a position. This left me a little apprehensive, but regardless of how I felt, I still gave it my all and managed to secure a position within TWP. Hello, my name is Imogen. I'm based at Bowman Hospital on Maple Ward, which is a child and adolescent unit. I am an apprentice clinical support worker. When the post came up, it seemed like an excellent opportunity, so of course I went for it. I had to have an assessment on my maths and English as part of my interview process. Following that, I had an interview with my now ward manager. I think my current position was an excellent opportunity for people who want to work in this field but haven't quite got enough experience or the relevant qualifications. Also working as an apprentice has given you a broader idea of what your actual job role will be like. 